A good trader understands how the economy interacts with the asset that they trade. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to source economic data from the Federal Reserve Economic Database start to finish with no experience necessary. First things first, after creating an account with the Federal Reserve Economic Database, you can go to your portfolio section and click on My API Keys. Once you have that, keep this string of numbers and letters and paste it into your Python terminal after installing the FRED API into your environment. Now, regardless of what economic data is interesting to you, I can almost guarantee that the Federal Reserve Economic Database has it. Today, we're going to be making a strategy that uses the Volatility Index and the United States Dollar Exchange Rate to see if we can find a sustainable trading strategy that leverages insights from both of these datasets. Let's take in the series IDs from FRED and paste those into our Python terminal. Once we have the data for each of these requests, we concatenate the data frame using pandas. I'm interested in seeing if the S&P 500 performs better when the volatility index is higher. I also know that a weaker dollar is better for exporting goods, so I'm going to be including a weakness indicator in the United States dollar using a moving average on that column. Now that I've defined my strategy as a volatility index exceeding 20 and a United States dollar value being below its 50 day moving average, I will only be buying the S&P 500 when those two conditions are met. Otherwise, I will stay in cash. When you multiply the signals from our strategy by the cumulative returns of the asset, these are the results over the entire course of our study. It's nothing yet, but I think it's a good foundation to continue asking more questions about what we might have done wrong. The reason I choose to employ structures like this is to verify that I'm never losing any money trading before I know exactly what is going to happen beforehand. We're already working with more effective data than most traders, and now we have a more effective framework. And if you're interested in watching more walkthroughs like this one, I have complete videos posted on my YouTube page, and I'll be sure to be making plenty of more content right here on this channel as well. Thanks for sticking around, and until next time, stay sharp.